Alabama, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. So those are our customers in essence. Although we then obviously also try to do what we do to please the end consumer as well. SCT is a subsidiary of a company called JM Family Enterprises. You're probably familiar with that. The JM stands for Jim Moran. We feel very fortunate. We were actually just recognized as the number 34 best company to work for in the United States. We've been on that list for 17 years. And the processing centers that you see here, two of them are located in Jacksonville. The Talleyrand Port, where vehicles that come to us from Japan come into. Then we opened a facility in Commerce, Georgia in 1989 to handle the dealers that are outside of the state of Florida. And then in 2003, we opened another facility in Jacksonville called Westlake. So basically anything built in North America that comes by rail goes into either the Commerce facility or the Westlake facility, depending on where your dealership is located. And again, as I said, anything built in Japan comes by ship into our port facility. Those processing centers are important for our discussion today because that's where the accessorization occurs. So where we sit in the pipeline, Toyota builds their vehicles in plants either in North America or in Japan, or actually we get some vehicles from over in Europe at this point in time, the Yaris. And as they are on their way to us through that pipeline, the dealers indicate to us what accessories that we develop they'd like to have installed on those vehicles. So we Nationally, the story is a little bit different. The Ford F-Series, dominates outside of our five states at number one. Toyota coming in at number four, Corolla at number eight, and RAV4 is represented there at number nine. The Northeast region does very well with RAV4. So let's talk about this market, and it's a hot market right now. Toyota holds a 5.8% share of market lead over Honda. Honda's number two. We have a 16% share in the South Florida market versus Honda's 10.2% market share. Hyundai's at number three with 7%, and that was to end 2014. The total registrations in South Florida last year were just over 46,000, which was up 14.5% over prior year, and that was the largest growth we experienced in our five states. South Florida market, as I mentioned, carries number one with a share of market at just over 22%. Number uh, Cord sits at number two, but they're behind us by 1,987 units. And Corolla leads the subcompact segment in this area with a 29.6% market share. That's an unbelievable share to almost get to 30% of one vehicle in a market. But Corolla, as you guys know, is dominant down here. Civic is the next closest competitor, 6,700 units. Before I move on, that's a picture of the new Scion IM that will launch later this year the new Scion IA, and there will be a new Prius, but that is not a picture of the Prius yet. They have not released information on what the new Prius will look like to us yet. So 2015, this is SCT, and that's what we've budgeted. We've budgeted a 1% growth because Toyota has predicted a 1% growth to the North American market. Based upon the SAR projection, those Millions of sales that I talked about, only growing 1% this year. So there's somewhat of a plateau occurring in the industry. However, you'll see our stretch goal is three. And then, of course, we're helping our dealers increase their profitability at the same time. And we do that with Mr. Moran's three C's, consideration, cooperation, and communication, and accountability and innovation. That's part of our overall JM family mission statement. It's also part of our new products committee. At one point in time, and this is in the booklet that Christina has in your bag, it gives you the history of our XSP Tundra. But growing off of that XSP Tundra, as we added more X series to the products, we branded it. So today we're going to talk, talk about our Toyota X series. And you'll see when you get a chance to go out to our, our area that we have some of these on display for you today. So, space. so we take the Avalon. And we add a ground effects kit, a BBS wheel, an LED lamp to the front of that vehicle to give it a more sporty look. The Corolla XSP, this is our one of our most recent launches. This launched in December. And we have information on it here. We take the base Corolla or the sport Corolla. We add front spats and rear spats. As you see here. We do a red brake caliper cover. We 
black out the badging. We had a graphic down the side. We had a spoiler to the back and a graphic along the back that calls out XSP. Our Tundra XP package. You can get this in either black or chrome. On this truck, we do a running board, an upgraded wheel. We black out the emblems again on the black version. The interior gets logoed as well. And the chrome version. Same thing except the running board becomes chrome and the wheel stays chrome. And I'll talk about the effect of these packages on these vehicles in a minute. Oh, hey, Billy. Bike your bike. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Billy's got taste. He must have ran about the ground bike. Parkers wish they had the XSP spoiler in their car. Hey! I knew Sarah would love the red calibers, but they even caught Daniel's attention. door graphics are hot, but that's really hot. I love this XSP package. The all-new Corolla XSP package. It will turn some heads in your neighborhood. Since they're both so cool, I like black. But what truck do you dream of? Transformation complete. 20 inch gunner wheels. Stainless steel exhaust tip. Running boards. What do you dream of? 